It's great that you won the contest, Laura, but let's try not to brag about it. Nice one with the lights, Bob. My pleasure. For the next song, maybe I can drive into the river! Yeah! Drive into the river, Bob! Oh, drive into the river, Bob! Or maybe you could help me with the map! Oh, I'm sorry. Is there anything you want me to tell Twippo when I meet him? Laura! Wow. situations before. Happens all the time. What you need is a little compassion. And maybe some scampi. Hey, I saw that in the menu. What is that? What's compassion? Ooh, that's a hard question. Mm -hmm. Well, compassion is when you see that someone needs help and you want to help them. That's what I thought you'd say. They all do. Yep. We find it helpful to illustrate with a little story. A story? Yep. You know, we call ourselves the pirates who don't do anything, but that's not entirely accurate. Oh, yeah. Remember when we did that one thing with that one guy? Oh, do I ever. I remember it like it was yesterday. Jonah. Now, Jonah was a prophet of God, which means he was one of the very special people God used to deliver messages to Israel. He was kind of like a mailman, except his letters came straight from God! <laughs> anyway, Jonah loved helping his friends by bringing them God's messages. Sometimes the messages were good, sometimes they were not so good. But when a prophet talks, everybody listened! So every night, before he went to sleep, Jonah would pray and ask God if there was a new message for him to deliver. And this night, there was a message that would change Jonah's life. A new message? Yes. What's that? People being unkind? Lying? 
Stealing? Oh dear! Sounds like a standard turn and repent to me! All right, name the town. I'll be on my way first thing in the morning. Uh, where is it? Jericho? Uh, Damascus? What? Nineveh? I I'm not aware of any Ninevehs in Israel. Uh, no, I don't think... Uh... Oh. You mean that Nineveh? That Nineveh wasn't in Israel at all. It was the capital of Assyria, and it was the biggest, meanest city around. Now the people of Nineveh were particularly mean to Jonah's people, the Israelites. They lied, they stole, but worst of all, they slapped people with fishes. They even slapped each other with fishes. They didn't know the difference between right and wrong. The Ninevites were so mean, in fact, that most Israelites, including Jonah, wished God would just wipe Nineveh off the face of the earth. Needless to say, Jonah was shocked that God would want him to deliver a message to his enemies. You don't want me to go there. You don't know what Nineveh is like. Perhaps you've never been there. Well, of course you haven't. A god like you would never go to a place like Nineveh. For that matter, neither would a prophet like me. <laughs> oh. No, it cannot be. Your messages are meant for me and my brothers. We are your chosen people. And Nineveh? Well, they're not! Morning, Jonah. What's the word? What? Nothing! There is no word! Uh, nothing? At all? And above all, I am not going to Nineveh! Sorry, sir! I can't sell you a ticket to Nineveh! What? Who are you? The name's Angus. I sell cruise tickets. There's nothing like a cruise on the Great Sea to clean the sand out of your wicket, Hey! But you can't sail to Nineveh. It's landlocked. See? You can't go by sea. You gotta go by land. But I don't want to go to... Oh, hello, Mr. Jonah! What's the word? Ah, uh, he's going to Nineveh. Oh, really? I am not going to Nineveh. Why on earth would I want to go to Nineveh? In fact, I'm going in the opposite direction. What's the farthest thing in the world from Nineveh? Well, if you have a few days, you could sail down to Egypt. It's lovely this time of year. There. I want to go there. Uh, Tarshish? Why, that would take weeks. It's the other end of the world. Perfect. How much? Even if you had the money, no one around here has the time to sail all the way to Tarshish. Fire ass, look up the winning. We just stay home and lie around. Again. And if you ask us, look at winning. We'll just tell you. Money is no object. Next stop, Tarshish! I'll hoist the mainsail! I'll pop the popcorn! I'll get the moist towelettes! Where do we put them? Hey, Larry, have you seen the towelettes? I got it, I got it! No, those are baby wipes. Sorry! My fault! Which way is Tarshish? Right this way! You can't miss it! Oh, thank you! Jonah! What? Who is it? Jonah! Where are you going? Oh, it's you, Lord! Uh, I'm g going to... Uh, I'm going... Jonah! Uh, I'm sorry! I can't hear you! Jonah! I can't hear you! La 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 la! I can't hear you! Jonah! 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 No! I, I can't hear you! Come on, wake up! We got trouble! I'm afraid the only 
been in the great fish. We must hear the message. What? Oh, uh, the message. Uh, yes. Stop it! <gasps> stop cheating. Stop lying. And especially stop slapping people with fishes. All this entire city will be destroyed. <gasps> A message from the Lord. Well, the king was very upset. He had no idea they weren't supposed to do that stuff. No one had ever told him before. A decree from the king. Let everyone call urgently to God. Let them give up their evil ways and their violence. Perhaps the god that brought this man out of the great fish will give us a second chance. And let the asparagus and his friends go free. Bora, you can have my ticket. But Junior, it was my fault. Why, that was a very merciful thing to do. Tell you what, I'll give you all a ride to the concert, and I'll make sure you all have backstage passes. I beg your pardon? I hate to break up the party, but who needed a toe? Ah... Uh, have we met? Broccoli, celery, gotta be 